On behalf of the State Director for Rural Development, Jim Turner, we would like to congratulate the City of Clare for embarking on this treatment plan improvement project. When I started on City Council about 10 years ago, we started into a project with the DEQ on monitoring our uh, ammonia levels giving off by the wastewater treatment plant. The Clare Wastewater Treatment Plant was rehabbed by Gordy Frazier in 1989. Uh, it's three lagoons and it's got a seasonal discharge with ammonia of 11 milligrams per liter. 2009, we installed a pilot plant here on the site. We gauged it to represent the plant itself in a Webitat module, studied its effects, and we found that the Webitat modules did a wonderful job of removing ammonia on the pilot plant. The best solution was the Webitat modules themselves, which are behind me, were easy to install. It's a simple home for the bacteria to attach themselves and from a cost standpoint, being a rural type community. The reason these modules are gonna go in is to give the home for the bacteria. There's not gonna be any changes to the actual structure of the lagoons. The only thing we need to do is hook up a dedicated airline to the top of the modules, pulse the air once a week to get a burst of air to keep any thick media from forming or biomet from forming, and let the, the bacteria grow and give them the proper environment. They're gonna give you the home for the bacteria that remove ammonia, so they're gonna give them a, an advantage to, to do that. And what they're gonna do is kick off the nitrification process and, and then finalize treatment for ammonia removal in June 3 before it goes to the clarifiers and then through UV disinfection to the Tobacco River. Well, the influent water temperature, surprisingly enough, because it are, they are in pipes coming into us on pipes in the ground, and not um, running through our frost layer, comes in usually right around 50 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. But because of the 30 day retention time going through this plant, by the time it leaves the plant, it can be sometimes down to 33 degrees Fahrenheit going out to the river. So basically the only thing that stops this water from freezing is the movement of the water through the plant. Installation of the modules have occurred in this way. They arrive by truck. The contracting crew then staged the modules over and along each of the dikes on the lagoons. They brought in a crane. It extends out. They pick up the modules with a boom. They reach out into the lagoons and they just lower the modules into the lagoons. Their installation has also been in-ground piping for the air system. They were able to dig down into the, to the soil, lay the piping in, it's PVC piping and glued joints. That was installed and they have risers coming out to supply air to the NTEX modules. There was really no modifications required for the NTEX modules. It's been great working with the NTEX team because of their knowledge of their product, the ability to address anything at a moment's notice and their expertise with dealing with not only the client but with the engineer. They've come and inspected the modules and they've been very good from the very beginning, listened to us we, as we talked about design. Operator training involved for the new web, Webitat modules on the operations of the Webitat modules should be fairly easy. Once we have everything dialed in on the proper PSI, air pressure to the modules, it should be relatively easy to operate and maintenance free. From an operator standpoint, having these Webitech modules in the lagoons shouldn't be much harder than them already operating the lagoons. There really isn't any major operational issues. Uh, most lagoons are going to have air. The Webitech modules need air. So they're going to be very familiar with the type of blowers that are going to be connected. So there should be very little to no maintenance on these type of systems. My expectations for once the Webitat modules are installed is to essentially meet ammonia discharge between May 1st and October 31st of 11 milligrams per liter or better, which we anticipate will be much, much better. Roughly about last week, we were right around two parts per million of ammonia nitrogen, and it has dropped continuously down to 
0.44 on uh, May 21st. I would attribute that to the Webitat because normally we're not this far ahead. Uh, this project will enable Claire to comply with the environmental regulations and preserve a legacy for generations to come.